those uh, those uh, souls that laying under the table uh, uh, in the in the room where God is, uh, they have like calling for me to talk about it to today. So I I need to look at it. I have um, have it here on my telephone to read, and it's about uh, Revelation six. And and uh, I started Revelation six and nine. And uh, when he had opened the fifth seal. I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, does not judge and avenge our blood on them that were on earth and white robes were robes were given unto every one of them and it uh, it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled it's uh, it is hard for me also even if if i have coming far in to understand what's going on and the spirits have talked to me about many things but this were the revelation uh, with those all these seals that will open it's um it's hard to understand, but I am going through this because uh, I was up. Uh, I was up in in the upper room, but uh, it was not really an upper room because it was in the cave. I was, but it was. Uh, and I was walking in in a long long hall in this cave, and uh, on the right side of me, when I was walking, I suddenly saw uh, tables, uh, seven tables, and on that those those each of every table there was a scroll uh, that was closed and I went went up to the first table and opened up that scroll that was there and I it was like a rebus it was a, a rebus I have to to solve it, it looked like a little like uh, Egypt per uh, graphic uh, things. Uh, th those, it, uh, and, but I could solve the first scroll I opened, and then I went to the second scroll, and uh, and I could solve that also, and I went on to the next table, next table, next table. But the t I could solve the, those five tables with scrolls. But those, those two last tables, I have hard to, to understand it and solve the rebels that was there. Uh, I opened it, but it did close, and I could go to the next table. So someone 
with me accepted that I only open the scroll and look at it but I couldn't solve it but I I passed by those seven seals and uh, so the, uh, this is uh, what I read it was the sixth seal and that was the seal I couldn't understand understand and solve in that time it was for maybe seven eight years ago I, I did this and then I went more far into the cave and suddenly on the, the left side it was open up uh, on the side on the walls there uh, it was like uh, gray, dark gray rocks and it's open up and I saw a stair and the stair led up to to a room but I was standing in the end of the stairs and only look up into that room and it was open widely for me so I could look into that room and there was uh, it was like a milky way uh, glass on the floor it was shining white the floor and um, and then it was a throne and it was a throne that had three seats but uh, they were not equal with each other. One was higher than the two other. So they were not on equal level. And, uh, and it, that throne was like uh, of uh, glass. It was, uh, it was uh, so I could look in into the glass. It was... Uh, Ah, oh, hard with a word to remember what is called in English. That uh, it does a, it have no color. It was uh, like uh, the window glass that you can go look through, and um, but there was no one on the throne, uh, and then on the right side in the corner I saw it was like uh, flaming uh, like uh, gold it was not solid uh, gold it was like shining of gold and um, and I think it it was the opening to heaven uh, but uh, those that come into and um, I think it was hell I was in and uh, I saw the throne of Jesus throne in hell he was in in hell for three days and uh, and could uh, take away some people from hell so they could come to heaven that was Jesus work to do before he he went up to to heaven to be there in heaven so uh, he was it was his throne I saw he had not a, th a throne in heaven Jesus but he had a, a throne in in hell to help people to escape hell and he can do that because he he is our lawyer in heaven and he uh, he have been here on earth and and have uh, witness and he have lived our life so he know how hard it is here in this world and he have met many different characters of people he was not sitting with the 
the people that was right. He he was sitting with with those that that had many things that they have done that was full of sin, and he he was with them and he learned from them, uh, like like I have been also. I have in forty eight years. I was in a wild life. I was drinking very much, and I was with people that was criminals and, and liars and those that try to be okay in life and and fail and this all kind of people with <clears throat> that was not perfect and Jesus was the same we had to learn uh, about what life can be here on earth for to could help in heaven uh, when when people is standing in the heavenly court so he's Jesus is going into hell to to help people escape and uh, he take them in the throne room because there there is where they have to wait for it to come to heaven they those people are not going immediately to heaven it's the people that are waiting in the grave and the grave is hell grave is not uh, what what people think it's a it's a it's a hole in the ground that where you, dead people are uh, digging down but that is only because you can't have bodies uh, dead corpse uh, laying on the street or rotten and uh, animals eat on them and it should be spreading diseases they have to dig them down in the in what they call graves but the real graves are hell that's where they laying and, and I'm not allowed to come to heaven before all other that uh, go immediately to heaven are have have uh, going and then they can go uh, that's what is described in the Bible, and um, so I, uh, I have talking about this. I have uh, told you uh, that I, uh, what the spirits have talking to me about that. Uh, and I believe that in every generation uh, that have been, uh, it have always been someone that heard, that have heard from God, and they have tried to convince people that God is talking to them, but they have been laugh about. And being called that are mental sick and, and they have been burned to death because they think they are witch and those things. It's so very hard to, to tell the people that you hear from God, really truly hear from God and be set apart and have to do their work like I have done and uh, because the, the devil is there and whisper in their ear the whole time that this is lie, it's a mental disease person and uh, mental sick people and this kind it has been in all generation God have not only uh, placed Jesus here on earth and talk through him 
it had been first God himself tried to to talk to people but they they were denied most of them denied God when he was talking to them and when people say that they hear from God people don't believe them so it's very few people that have any followers with them that is uh, people from God that is talking because the devil is there and take people away from it so uh, the devil have been very strong in all generations and for Jesus also here yeah, he was killed by his own people Jesus was Jewish and um, he was of royal family he was killed of, of the Jewish people and he was killed of the Roma, Roman uh, Empire uh, people also and uh, the worst of all thing that uh, the bad thing that is have going on the whole time is that no one stand up for for these people they uh, they are they are not so many that is follow these people that God have have uh, placed on earth and uh, uh, th uh, talking to people through this these people and uh, they don't the world doesn't want to understand so in that way they kill Jesus those that kill Jesus most if I say so uh, the, those it was they that never say anything those that hide and and those doesn't stand up for for Jesus for example when when they uh, is, uh, accused um, Jesus and uh, they and then they ask who who want who they should uh, should uh, not be killed I have the word in my brain but it doesn't come out now and they and they took Barabbas that that he was also walking around like Jesus and talk about God's kingdom but he was not so dangerous for the political people for the uh, the royal people in Jerusalem so they took uh, Barabbas go free and Jesus was killed and um, and it has been like that uh, like someone from heaven told me that I have lived uh, more than this life I have been uh, they, they say that I have been a druid uh, once in 600 year 600 I was druid and I couldn't come forward with the, the what the I knew about God and what God was telling me and so it was only a small group that follow me and uh, today is it a small group also that follow me that uh, in my uh, podcast and websites and uh, and all this uh, YouTube I have on YouTube I have people that follow me but I 
I don't know who they are because they are in secret. I only be told of YouTube that I have hidden followers. And this is, those followers are those that killed Jesus. They didn't step up. And these people, I don't know who they are. They don't step up for me because if, if people see that more, more than two, three followers, that I have only two, three followers, if they see that I have many, then they be interested to see what's going on here. And, uh, but it, uh, it be killed. And they, those uh, laying under the table, they ask and they cry with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on earth? It's, it's, not, on our, it's not on us to know it because it is uh, depend i have said that to you many times it depend is depend on what we act here on earth on what's going on and uh, so they can lay there and ask many how many, many years, many generations to see who is coming forward. And uh, there is a, a special number for those uh, that will come to heaven. And it's uh, dependent on their action. Some, some hear from God. They hear from the true God, but they go scared and they don't know if they can say anything about it. So they hide and they don't tell what God is saying. But I am one of them, them that get the white robe because I have, I have not hide anything. I am not scared about myself to get people on me that they be angry. And now when God has set me apart, I don't have anyone that I have to care, care for that they go angry at me and walk away from me and my life. Because I don't tell anyone, so I don't need to to hide anything and be scared to to tell the truth. And so that's what they waiting for. That it's gonna be this like fixed number that is already say how many that will be in heaven. That is those that is in. God's throne room, not on who, how, how many that is in that meadow around the new Jerusalem, and not about those that that is inside the new Jerusalem. This is about those that is in God's throne room and sit and see God and listen at God what he's talking about those that is outside but inside the New Jerusalem they have this library this uh, they can by their own mind travel wherever they want to travel and uh, the library is there, it's only to pick and receive the knowledge. 
But those uh, on the meadow, they don't know anything. They are only playing. Um, so that's um, uh, what is all about this that is laying there on wait and wait and wait. And uh, then the sixth uh, seal. And there was earthquake, and the sun became black and sack clothes of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree cast her untimely figs when she shaken off a mighty wind. And uh, it's um, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, like I say about this table, it was rolled together, uh, and I opened up it, and every mountain and island were moved out of their place, and the king of earth, and the great man, and the rich man, and the chief captains. And the mighty man and every bond man and every free man hide, hid themselves in dens and in the rocks of the mountains. That's what it's gonna be. That is, we are not there just, just now, but we are very close to the sixth seal. Um, when uh, when everything going to be scared, we have started this with the uh, coronavirus, and we have this um, Russian going on. What we don't know really what what will happen. We only know that Russia is on its move. Not uh, people in Russia, but those that is in the army and political people in Russia. It's not many uh, that is involved in this, uh, what's going on. But those that is in, in the leader position, we don't know what they are going to do. And uh, this morning was was it talking about uh, that uh, Finland is going to go into NATO, that's a union with America and other countries to get help if if Russia is going to try to take them, and uh, uh, we are also close here in Sweden also. So if Finland is going to to be with uh, NATO Union uh, it's likely that Sweden is going there also and then we don't know what will happen when we are there and what uh, the leaders of Russia is going to do and uh, that is only a small part of what's going on just now it's uh, it's in the nature also uh, um, much is flood and uh, in some places is it very hot and uh, there is also places where it's very cold uh, that is not normal and uh, and but most is it is diseases that's going on and uh, it's shaking, it's shaking here on earth now. It start and it's gonna be worse, shaken. And uh, it's only to wait, uh, wait till to see uh, heaven coming down. And they have started to coming down here, but I uh, 
I'm going to talk to God about it, about when, when. But I know that it's uh, the action of people here on earth that make it when it's time for everything to to be the last day here on earth. Then uh, it's not gonna be if people act as they should act, then it should not be a, like a negative dark thing. It is it's gonna be be a, a one day only like it is in heaven because heaven is coming down here so we are going to have have like heaven here on earth and that means one day only no no nights only one day forever but it can be also doomed it, it can go into darkness and avoid because uh, we have not act what the they in heaven waiting for they wait for us to act and I do my part and I can't do anything if I don't have people with me then I also fail and I fail once again because I have been trying before and I get one more chance to come back to earth and uh, talk about it but uh, I think uh, in some way because God can make it as a job also he is not uh, serious the whole time so he wanted uh, he said yes to me to return to earth but I didn't know that he should make me a woman and that's even worse uh, to come down again and not be a man that I am a woman in this generation and trying to convince those uh, leaders in in the world to listen at me and they don't want to listen even if if much happened when I was to Salt Lake City and I was to one of the leaders of of the Mormon church and uh, I was in his office and talked to him alone with him and still he didn't understood what I was talking about and I healed him also and he was thankful because I healed him and still he didn't understood because I was a woman because uh, the Mormon church is is about men uh, women have nothing to to do uh, of serious things uh, when it's come to God they are in a corner and doing some works on their own that is not so serious uh, when it's come to to God's business and uh, and today they don't believe in in the same God as Joseph Smith believed in they have changed it like all churches and they accept homosexual people now in the Mormon church and they are going away like every church has changed changed by time they are not like in Jesus time uh, after Jesus died they are not the same as as they were in Jesus time so the, uh, it's um, scary but I I can't I can't do a suicide 
that uh, can't the devil get. The I shall never give the victory to the devil to kill myself. I I have to hold in and uh, still going on and talking, even if not there is not one person that that uh, listen to me. I still have to talk about it, talk about what God is saying to me, because uh, that's why I come to earth to do. So if I stop and not talking anymore about God and try to explain uh, what's, uh, what God is about and what heaven is about, uh, what uh, the meaning of life is, then, then I have nothing to do here on earth. So it's, then it will be time for me to go back to heaven. So I hold in as much as I can uh, because it's uh, I am forbidden everyone is forbidden to make a suicide even if if people do suicide and God understand it it's not okay to make a suicide in God's eyes it's uh, all these things it's very hard to to uh, to could be allowed to to be in heaven. God's love is is forgiven, uh, forgiveness, love, and and uh, it must be something very bad if God doesn't let you stay at least in the meadow to play not knowing anything what have happened in your life here on earth. So I'm, I sit and talk to my telephone <laughs> because I, I read from, from it and, and then I forget that, that you are on my surf plate. <laughs> Now it's only to wait and uh, it's allowed to ask when, but the answer will be, it depend on what people are doing on earth. If they, if they want to cooperate with heaven or if they have a God that they want to want only to do things for them and uh, and they don't want to do anything in God's will only in their own will then uh, we can wait for a very long time for all people to come together to be in heaven and be in God's throne room and come down here on earth and let earth be like heaven. It depends on us if we want to have um, a planet that is doomed and no one want to touch this planet because it's dark and evil place to be in. So they avoid it. That's what my answer was for, for what they are saying under the table in God's throne room, waiting for brother and for sisters and those waiting for those that have worked under God's will and have a testimony about God for the world. So thank you for listening.
God bless you.